When working with designs, it is inevitable that changes to the design geometry will be required. Attributes such as level, color, line style, and weight are easily modified in a variety of ways. Modifications can be applied individually or to multiple elements. In this lesson, you will observe detailed geometry and make changes to element attributes. Continuing in the Elevation Details DGN file, let's open the View Attributes dialog and ensure that the dimensions and text are toggled on. And now we're going to review and change properties of an element. So we'll navigate the view to where Door Type 3 is located. With the Element section as the active tool, We'll position the cursor over the horizontal lines at the top of the door frame. The tooltip displays showing the name of the level the element is drawn on. This line represents the door framing. We'll then place the cursor over the line segment to the right of the door frame and observe that the tooltip displays the default level. Take note both line segments represent the door framing, but the line to the right was drawn with the wrong attributes. From the Home tab, in the Modify Ribbon group, we'll now pick the Change Element Attributes tool. In the Tool Settings window, we'll go ahead and set the following. For the Active Attributes, we'll enable that. The Level, Enabled, and set to Door Frame. Color, Style, and Weight, all set to By Level Properties. Now, if we were to select the vertical line of the door framing that was drawn incorrectly, the line updates displaying the correct attributes. You will now verify these settings. From the keyboard, we'll press Escape. As can be seen, MicroStation returns to the Element Selection command. Reset will terminate the command, but with most tools, the command stays active. Escape terminates the command and returns MicroStation to the Element Selection tool. Take note. Use of the escape key was enabled in the user preferences in a previous lesson. In our next task, we'll be reviewing element properties. So from the Home tab in the Primary Ribbon group, we'll now click Properties. As such, the Properties dialog opens. This dialog may also be docked into the interface. Now, with a data point, Let's identify the line that was just modified. As can be seen, the properties of the line are displayed. In general properties, you can see the level is A door frame and the color, line style, and weight are by level. Now, deselect the element by placing a data point into a blank area in the view window. We'll then navigate the view to where door type 2 is located. Here, you will find several additional door frame segments that need to be updated. With Element Selection as the active tool, we'll select one of these lines. We'll press and hold the Control key and select the remaining line segments, adding them to a selection set for a total of six lines. And now we can view the properties. Here, you can see the six lines and the general properties as they apply to the selection set. All of the lines are on the default level, having a color, line style, and weight of zero. Now, in properties, we'll set the following for the selection set. For the level, a door frame, the color, line style, and weight, we'll set that to be by level properties. As you can see, the elements are updated as each attribute is changed. Now, we'll deselect the elements by placing a data point into a blank area. So now we're going to navigate the view over to where door type 1 is located. Here we're going to modify the elements of the notes for door type 1. Here, we'll update the notes for the swing door to their proper level. With the element section tool active, we'll position the cursor below the bottom note that reads heavy duty 
top bottom pins. We'll press and hold the data button and then drag the suction area up and to the left, capturing the notes and their respective leader lines. Now we'll make the Change Element Attributes tool active. This can be found in the Modify group of the Home tab. In the Tool Settings window, we'll set the level to be A Anno Label, the color, style, and weight to buy level properties. Coming into the view, we'll issue a data point to commit the changes. And then deselect the elements by placing a data point into a blank area. We can follow this by fitting the view. Now, if you were to investigate all the dimensions that are placed on a particular level, a anno, they need to be placed on a level a anno dims. Next, you will update the dimensions to their proper level. To be efficient in selecting these, you will select the dimensions by their attributes. So with the Element Selection tool active, we'll now click the down arrow in the lower right corner of the tool settings window to show the extended settings. The Element Selection tool expands, revealing attribute tabs. Here, we'll select the Level tab. Then from the list of levels, we'll select A Anno. As a result, all the elements that reside on the A-Anno level will be selected. As you can see, this has selected all the dimensions. However, it has selected text elements as well. Next, in the Element Selection Extended Settings, we'll now click the Element Type Attribute tab. The attributes that exist within the selection set are highlighted and displayed in the list box. In this case, Dimension, Text, and Text Node. From the list of elements, we'll click on the text node to remove text nodes from the selection set. You will see that the attribute is no longer highlighted and the elements with that attribute are unselected. So we're going to continue by updating the dimensions here. As such, we'll make the Change Element Attributes tool active. Now, coming into the Tool Settings window, we'll set the level to A Anno Dims and the color, style, and weight to by level. We'll issue a data point into the view to commit these changes, and then deselect the elements by placing a data point into a blank area. And we'll finish this exercise by saving settings. During this lesson, you learned how to clean up the geometry in the elevation details drawing by changing elements that were placed with the wrong attributes. This was done using the tool Change Element Attributes. These changes can be made individually on a per element basis or in bulk using element selection command. Changes were then verified by viewing the properties of elements using the properties dialog. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.